Hi guys, Josh here and welcome to Frames Per Second. Today we're looking at long exposures on medium format. And so I shot this on some Ektar 100 with my Mamiya 645 and I kind of just hung out with my friend and we we're doing some night stuff and so I just wanted to hang out so I didn't really record any BTS or an intro or an outro. But I, when I got the images back, I thought it would make for an interesting episode, so that's why we're doing it this way now. So, hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. We had to do some long exposures to get some night stuff on Ektar 100. So, all that requires is a shutter release cable and a tripod. The reason I chose Ektar 100 is because I have seen people use it in the past before for long exposures at night and I just knew that city lights and colors in particular would turn out quite well. This story bridge and this view of this kind of place where I was which kind of has this rail going through and the bridge was lit red which reflected on the water quite nicely. One negative about long exposures is you do get a bit of flaring kind of creeping in so I would recommend a lens hood if you had one and I do think the red turned out quite fantastically in this shot so that's the Ektar kind of doing its thing. One thing you do have to be worried about is reciprocity. Exposing it for long periods of time it loses that sensitivity and so you have to expose it for longer to compensate for that loss and so Ektar's reciprocity isn't too bad and so you, there is a reciprocity timer app. It's literally just called reciprocity timer and it, while it doesn't have every film available on it, it has most of them. And so you just kind of select your film, the expected exposure time, and then it tells you how much longer. And you even have a timer, so you can hit the timer and it will buzz when you should close the shutter. And here we have the Anal Building, as it's so warmly called, the ANL Building on Eagle Street. I don't mind this shot, it is on a bit of a slant, but I do kind of like that. I do wish there was some more dynamic lighting and while you do you kind of get that red street light and then the red light behind the building I think it just needed something a bit more as far as color goes after that we have this kind of smiley face <laughs> light structure on this building which was kind of interesting and as you can see from the street lights that's kind of the glow of the light when you're doing long exposures obviously I knew the lights were going to be in the shot so it's not like I was trying to avoid them I don't know, it could have been more interesting, but... And here we have the kind of Ferris wheel we have in Brisbane City on South Bank. And I was using a 300mm lens. So this one I did have to do a bit longer. It is on a slight tilt. I wasn't able to perfect it. I think I was using the waist level finder for this because it's often quite brighter than the viewfinder. So it's easier to get focus. And below it, you can see the river. And there's like a bit of motion from the water there. But yeah, I was kind of taking it through these kind of tree branches, which you can kind of see in the foreground a little bit. But the 300mm really compressed it, so everything looks a bit close. I would have liked it if it was something more foregroundy, but it generally turned out the way I was expecting, but I don't hate it. And it seemed that the whole city was just lit up in red. And so you have these nice red lights, which kind of contrast with the blues from the street lights and that kind of LED screen that's on that building that's kind of projecting on the water you can see there. And so I was kind of hoping there would be like some cars coming through and I think you can faintly see a little streak of car. Yeah, that little red line, but it wasn't prominent enough to really be noticeable but I do like the colors and here's just a slightly different angle again the ferris wheel the reflection on the water but I do think this could have been a more interesting shot though I do like how the foreground element is more noticeable with that rail from the bridge and you do kind of get a little bit of streak of a car there but I think it could have been a bit more interesting maybe if it was like a 210 millimeter lens maybe I was just a bit too close and maybe I reflected a bit wider now here I purposely did a long exposure to kind of get those light streaks which were of the bus this is kind of like a bus tunnel so I knew several buses were coming in and out and so I think this was like a four minute exposure and it is kind of cool I think maybe if it was just there for a bit longer I know I took the photo expecting a bus to come and then it took a little bit longer than expected so it didn't turn out exactly how I was expecting but uh, for a first attempt I thought it turned out quite well 
and just yeah actors just giving those nice colors and that fine green and this was more of a street photo than a long exposure photo but yeah there was just this bin and this wet floor sign and for some reason i just thought it was interesting on the day so really the long exposure was just to get the correct exposure for it and that's kind of just what that was now this shot I kind of did envision a bit differently and it didn't turn out how I expected. I, I do wish I exposed it for like another minute. I do wish I was a bit more closer and front on but there's like a road there. I just didn't want to have to stop in the middle of a shot when a car came through. So I could have put it on like a longer lens but we didn't and I think if it was a bit more exposed, a bit more of the signage would have added more color and detail to that shot, which unfortunately it did not. Now this shot did turn out how I was hoping. You've got a lot of color variations, like yellow, blue, pink, red, green, orange. And yeah, I think this is a nice shot. Like it's not gonna be like a print that I'm gonna sell, but I just like it and the colors and it really shows how nice Ekta is. With this clock tower photo, it was lit red, but the red just didn't come through as much. Maybe I exposed it for a little bit too long, even though it is a nice even exposure. And I think the focus was too on the base of the building and should have been more where the clock face was. Other than that, I do kind of like the angle of it. Sometimes Dutch angles are nice and for me, I do kind of like how it turned out with this. Maybe if it was a bit more front on to the building, it would have been a nicer photo, but I did kind of want to see how that crane light kind of worked with the back. And it did kind of like, there is a bit of light illuminating that flag. Unfortunately, the flag's not in the right place for the shot because there wasn't much wind, which was unfortunate. Now this shot, I do like quite a bit. I definitely forced the Dutch angle, but it's because I liked it and it looked cool in the viewfinder. It was a little bit darker than I was expecting and that's because some people walked through the shot and didn't walk around us and they took their time too, which was annoying, but they didn't turn up in the photo, which was good, but it might have just been a little bit brighter, but I do like the mood of it. And this I'm pretty sure was on the 55mm lens and you can kind of just see the depth of that and I do like it quite a bit. Now here's another shot of the bridge. Obviously we know that water reflection is lovely and the saturation of the Ektar is fantastic. And I probably was on like F8, 11, 16 even when I was doing these shots just because I wanted to get a lot of it in focus just in case I was a bit off. And But there's a nice bokeh in the foreground because it did kind of rain for like a little bit. Great colour, I don't mind the flaring of the lights, you do have that cool, like one side of it is a lot cooler in colour and then you have the other side red, and I think that it, it turned out quite nicely. And the last shot is of my friend's shaman. It was a bit of a long, I think it was like a 20 second shot, and either the focus is a bit off, or there was just a bit of motion to him. I think it could be a bit of both, just because it is hard to stay perfectly still for 20 seconds. So it does have a bit of softness to it, but if I was just to post it on Instagram, add a bit of contrast and whatnot, I think it would be fine and nobody would really know. And I'm not the most scientific person when it comes to shooting. This was just me kind of playing around, so if you want something that's more articulate, more educational, I know there's other videos out there, but if you watched this video and enjoyed it nonetheless, please let me know. And so I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on the images in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, turn on this post notifications so you know when there's a new episode. Anyway, I'm Josh, this has been Frames Per Second, and just get out there and shoot some film.